Welcome. This is uh, the fall edition of Jerry's Garden. And we're going to see what we got going around here. First off, we've started to fill up the greenhouse over here, and we've got some uh, peppers going. Um, there's some uh, purple cayenne peppers right there. See, they're growing pretty good. And then we got some fish peppers, if you can see them. They're, they're kind of yellow and green right there. We've got several things of fish peppers. Some little roses and this, that, and the other. There's more cayennes down at the end down there that we dug up. We planted them in pots this year. And so we could bring them up and put them in the garden. Coming around, we got... Uh, we're also going to try some lettuce this year. We've got a grow box in there, and uh, we're going to try growing them over the winter. We got some more parsnips going in that bed. Uh, so we've cleaned most of our tomatoes. No tomatoes, no summer things left, really, except for some peppers. But here we have our bed of kohlrabi that was started here. So those should be pretty good. And then we got some, I believe they're called society garlic in the back. And then we've got just our overgrowth of our walking onions that have taken off again here. Uh, it's making a nice, actually a nice uh, border. And uh, when we come around, we got some red basil that's kind of bleached out green, but it is actually red basil over here. Uh, and then coming over this bed, we have, we tried to grow some more, um, uh, we tried to grow some more Armenian cucumbers. They just don't seem to work. And, uh, but, uh, anyway, in here we've got some broccoli for the, you know, coming up in the fall and a bunch of irises. We've got all these Siberian irises. Siberian irises, this is a good place to winter them over so we can see what color they are. We've got a pretty good deal on them. Max, he's our design gardener over there, the gardener design over there. Uh, here we've got our pepper pots, pepper plants. Um, they seem to be doing pretty good. We've got our, uh, yellow peppers I see down there they're just doing real well since the weather's changed a little bit pretty good size and then we've got our corno de toros which are growing up here uh, they're the bullhorn ones they're gigantic but they all turn red so they're a nice Italian pepper apparently Italian works better in the south than anything else and for us it works better than jalapenos so those are all the cornos and then we got more of these are all the the uh, yellow peppers, yellow uh, banana peppers. More basil. Just extended our bed here a little bit for more tomatoes next year. We think these are, what are these, flag irises? Yeah. I think these are flag iris over here. We found them in the garbage and planted them last year and they've done real well. They've about tripled in size, but they're, we think they're an iris. And we got more little irises over here, right? Siberian. Siberian irises that were planted from seed, collected seed, so. They take a while, but they're doing well, actually. And coming around here, we got some remnants of some other peppers. This is a, our other pepper um, uh, pepper bed here, but we've got, this is our ghost pepper bed right here. So we've got, see if we can get it down here. These are our ghost peppers. As you can see, they're pretty good size, and we got lots of them. Looks like every branch that comes up, we get a ghost pepper off of. Those are doing real well. With the change of weather, they seem to be taking off. And then over here, more, uh, some parsnips and some, we have a potato left over from last year. We'll see what happens with that. Here's something right here that we found growing in the floor of the greenhouse and we planted it. It looks like some kind of cabbage thing. Um, we also have rutabagas going in here. This has got our uh, rutabaga turnips, I call them, uh, growing uh, in that bed. So a little bit, of, a lot of brassica kind of things in there. And here's our, uh, uh, this is a, what is this? Is a white star, red? This is a red hibiscus right here, but it's kind of on its last legs for this year. But it'll be back next year. It does well in the pot out here. And then swinging around the back here. Take a look. There's a dog running around out here. You see, we've been working on the beds. I got all the saw out and everything, but. The dog's convinced there's a squirrel inside the diamond. Diamond's convinced there's a squirrel inside the mom's barn right there. <laughs> All right, coming around, we got our compost back there. It doesn't look great, but it is uh, growing the spinach. What is that? Spinach? Malabar spinach. 
is Malabar spinach is all over. Came reseeded from last year. There's more irises, and then we've got our blackberries that are growing along the wall here. It's kind of a root. Started picking our um, uh, some of our uh, uh, pinto beans we put in here for for uh, nitrogen and soil. It dried out nicely. And they made a nice, nice bean out of it, right there. So that's our, one of our pinto beans right there, already dried, ready to go. I think you got to cook them about 10 hours though. So, and around more, uh, this of the datura right there. Looks like we're gonna have to collect some more seeds. And the blackberries in the pots. Yeah, we're growing them in the pots, and they, we got some last year. I think this year will be better. They're thornless. I think they're Navajo and, and Apache. Uh, a little bit of both, kind of, so we get a little cross breeding on them. And then we've got our our uh, gold and red uh, raspberries going over in the corner over here. So that's kind of the back right now. Is you know, it's our one we don't have to take care of much of back there. But so this is uh, Jerry's fall garden, and I think we had a summer garden. So this will be maybe next one will be the winter garden. See what it turns out like. But this is the end.